Welcome to sixth grade reading. This is for lesson 147. This is Wednesday um, of your of your list of your week. Uh, so have vocab list 30 out. We're going to go over that first. And your reading book of America 2. We're going to be you're going to be reading pages 201 to 206. You also have a reading quiz, reading or um, reading comprehension skill sheet 38 to take. So you can pause the video, take that now, or you can take it at the end of the video. Um, I'll let I'll give you a sec if you're going to pause. Okay, we're going to jump right in and we're going to save this list um, twice and then um, we'll look at our reading, okay? Gable, the space between the two slanted sides at the end of the roof. Gable, deprecatingly, expressing strong disapproval, deprecatingly. Tempestuous, resembling a storm, tempestuous. Smart, quick in movement, smart. Abstracted, lost in thought, abstracted. Whim, a sudden idea, whim. Kindred spirit, one who naturally understands another's thoughts and feelings, kindred spirit. Tick, mattress, tick. Providential, from God, providential. Superfluous, extra, superfluous. Okay, we'll go over it again. Gable, the space between the two slanted sides at the end of the roof, gable. Deprecatingly, expressing strong disapproval, deprecatingly. Tempestuous, resembling a storm, tempestuous. Smart, quick in movement, smart. Abstracted, lost in thought, abstracted. Whim, a sudden idea, whim. Kindred spirit, one who naturally understands another's thoughts and feelings, kindred spirit. Tick, mattress, tick. Providential, from God, providential. Superfluous, extra superfluous. All right. Um, I hope that you are studying those. The quiz for those is scheduled for Monday, it would be in lesson 150. Um, and so um, study those well and pay attention as we're reading because there's lots that we're reading right now. And um, you are, we are looking at your, um, at more of the story of Anne of Green Gables. They actually have quite a bit of this story in the book. Um, so we're not finishing it today. We'll finish that one in the next lesson. Uh, well, actually lesson 149 because 148 is an adventures and a greatness quiz. So there is no video for that. You just take the quiz. And um, so that's that extra booklet um, that you rip out the page in the back and read those pages and then take the quiz without looking back in, in the book. Um, and so that will be for you um, in the, that's the next lesson, but then Friday's lesson, 149, we'll finish this story and get to start another story. But this is, this is a really, I really do like this story. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope that you're having fun with it because it is, um, it is a fun story to read and to um, to to show expression. Um, reading this one out loud, I found is is quite fun. So, um, hope that you are able to do that. Um, so, I'm going to start you off. I'll start reading um, on page two hundred one. You should have read to finish that top paragraph. At, um, the lake of shining waters was visible. Okay. So I'm gonna start on 201. I'll read a little bit and then I'll let you finish. And basically it finishes a section and there's a heading on the top, top of 207. So you're just gonna to read to the picture on 206. Um, so off to the left were the big barns and beyond them, away down over green, low sloping fields was a sparkling blue glimpse of sea. Anne's beauty loving eyes lingered on it all, taking everything greedily in. She had looked on so many unlovely places in her life, poor child, but this was as lovely as anything she had ever dreamed. She knelt there, lost to everything but the loveliness around her until she was startled by a hand on her shoulder. Marilla had come in unheard by the small dreamer. It's time you were dressed, she said curtly. 
Marilla really did not know how to talk to the child, and her uncomfortable ignorance made her crisp and curt when she did not mean to be. Anne stood up and, and drew it a long breath. Oh, isn't it wonderful, she said, waving her hand com comprehensively at the good world outside. It's a big tree, said Marilla, and it blooms great, but the fruit don't amount to much never, small and wormy. Oh, I don't mean just the tree. Of course it's lovely. Yes, it's radiantly lovely. It blooms as if it meant to, but I meant everything, the garden and the orchard and the brook and the woods and the whole big dear world. Don't you feel as if you just loved the world on a morning like this? And I can hear the brook laughing all the way up here. Have you ever noticed what cheerful things brooks are? They're always laughing, even in winter time. I've heard them under the ice. I'm so glad there's a brook near Green Gables. Perhaps you think it doesn't make any difference to me when you're not going to keep me, but it does. I shall always like to remember that there is a brook at Green Gables, even if I never see it again. If there wasn't a brook, I'd be haunted by the uncomfortable feeling that there ought to be one. I'm not in the depths of despair this morning. I never can be in the morning. Isn't it a splendid thing that there are mornings? But I feel very sad. I've just been imagining that it was really me you wanted after all, and that I was to stay here forever and ever. It was a great comfort while it lasted. But the worst of imagining things is that the time comes when you have to stop, and that hurts. You'd better get dressed and come downstairs and never mind your imagining, said Marilla, as soon as she could get a word in edgewise. Breakfast is waiting. Wash your face and comb your hair. Leave the window up and turn your bedclothes back over the foot of the bed. Be as smart as you can. Okay, and smart, quick, and movement, that's one of our vocab words. All right, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to let you finish to the end of page 206. Um, and... Um, enjoy the story. Don't forget that if you haven't taken the reading quiz, um, RCSS uh, Skillshape 38, go ahead and take that. And then in the next lesson is your other quiz. So do, do your best on those. Um, and we will see you in the next lesson.